So we're going to run through the skinning process. Uh, this is a uh, Geokikla cameronensis, which is a, a pretty poorly known bird, and we're getting some of the first documentation in detail of its, of its uh, breeding season by looking at the gonadal condition of a bunch of uh, individuals. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this bird as a study skin. So I'm simply going to remove all of the soft parts, all of the muscle, all of the guts, and I'm going to replace them with cotton. So I'm not going to say a whole lot as I do this, but you'll be able to see it on film. As a first step, by the way, I have already taken photos of it in life so that we get its, its soft part coloration in detail. And I have noted down its body mass, how it was collected, soft part colors as a textual description. I have a number for frozen tissue, and that corresponds to the number that I've put on this tube, which will be stored here, and then taken back to storage on liquid nitrogen vapor uh, in the museum. So we've got a lot of data already in hand, and we'll come back to the catalog at various points in the process. Okay. So initial incision under the wing. And I'm basically going to stop narrating so that I can concentrate. There's my initial incision. Now I throw sawdust in there to keep the feathers from sticking to the, the tissue underneath the skin. <laughs> Essentially, from my original incision, what I'm doing is I'm working towards cutting the wings, which will allow me to remove the body entirely. So here goes the first wing. Thank you. 
Get a tissue sample of it too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right at your brain. I just want to make sure. Are we filming? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm about to cut the second wing, which will make my life quite a bit easier. There it goes. And now we basically just are going to pull the skin down the back of the bird. Notice I'm keeping lots and lots of sawdust on the bird. I'm at a place I can stop going right after. Um, let's just go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Batteries are almost dead, yeah, and put it back together. I don't think the part came out there. I'm not hearing it out, but it's been singing for like 10 minutes. Now I'm coming up on the first leg. And you can see that this bird is not molting. Which is good news, because I'm kind of hoping that it's an adult female. And then moving the fat from the inside of the skin, just so that that fat isn't there in the final specimen. We have a very annoying set of honeybees and sweat bees in this camp. So it's a little hard to sit still the skin. thing I'll do on the skin is to remove the uropidural gland, which is another so source of grease that can damage the skin. Turn the tail back around, and we have our bird and its body separate. So I'm going to set the skin aside and get right on the bird body because we're very interested in what the sex of this individual is. <laughs> Upside down. Oh. Yes. Keep up a corner. Lina, so. Don't have one crack here. 
This is tissue that's going into ethanol to be able to work with the bird's DNA, sequence the bird's DNA later. Here's the ethanol. And now the moment of truth, the bird is a male or female. Everybody at the table is engrossed in the suspense. It is a female. And the oviduct is actually convoluted, so this bird is perhaps getting ready for breeding activity. What's the largest open? Two and a half or three millimeters, but not yellow yet. So that's... Let's see that. Stomach just has vegetal ma vegetal matter, but nothing recognizable. We're filming now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I forget any of this. Got to note down all of the data on the bird, including its its gonadal condition, uh, stomach contents. Huge gray chest. Okay, so now the data are complete. So I'm going to write out a tag. And the important thing to note is that all of the data that are on the catalog page are also on the tag. And the important thing about that is that if, uh, of course we hope it we won't, but if we were to lose the catalogs, or even, even worse, the specimens, we have all the data. So this is a bit of data security. Isn't that... That's cool. 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 for sure, yeah. That's four well, notes. Those are four notes. Okay. okay. Yeah, great chest. Okay. okay. Pain. So, one side of the tag, see if you can focus in on that, has all the locality information, date, place. The other side of the tag has all the rest of the information. So the tissue number to connect to our tissue catalog. And all of this information about condition and habitat and things like that. So there is the second side of the label, and again, it's giving us all the other information. Sorry. It's not wanting to focus right there, but okay, cool. There's the second side of the label giving us all the other information. And again, the critical thing is that all of this data is also here, 
and those two things give us a bit of security about keeping this information safe. So with that, the catalog is complete, the label is ready, and I can concentrate on finishing skinning this bird.